Ah, a nice cup of sink water may help me from my hindering. <laughs> oh no! Not the Jennifer Lawrence band! Ah! Be, be gone! Be gone! I'm right out of here! Hey guys, you want to know how trendy I am? Yeah, I don't know why I stumbled across this. I don't know why. It just it just popped up out of nowhere. I just found it. But I do like the sound of it though. Sounds like a flying saucer. So you know how there's all these celebrities who have their take on politics and just start ranting about it? Hey, Donald Trump should not be president. He's causing harm to society. And all these dumb people are just, you know, having their take on politics and end up being pretty much dog crap in general. But there is one specific person out there who takes it to the next level. And uh, who that is is Jennifer Lawrence. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. In the AM, it's the but Jennifer Lawrence has a big following because she made horrible movies in the past, but she's not the smartest tool in the shed. Now, I was doing uh, some research on this, uh, this woman, and uh, I came across a Smosh video pranking Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, I watched that entire video, and... Uh, what really got my attention was her reaction. Okay, she was less stupid in this video, but she was more bitchy because she didn't really understand the whole comedy thing. I hope you don't mind. Just my feet get really hot when I get nervous, so just... Can you please just remind me I put my shoes there? I don't think I'll forget. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, just get comfortable. Yeah, just get comfortable. Hey, let's just say that she's not a big fan of comedy. Oh boy, where can I start? Jennifer, oh, you're just making my brain hurt. But there is, uh, there was an interview. She had a couple of interviews. And uh, this interview was not the brightest one I've seen. And, well, let me just play it for you because apparently it just makes me cringe. And it will make you cringe. So if you have children in the room, make sure you take, take, take them out. Okay? Kind of poetic but also scientific connection to how countries and nations treat their women can almost directly reflect how they treat the environment. And I'm representing Earth. So to me, when we were doing this one particular scene with a lot of violence. Hmm. So, uh, well, uh, hmm. Well, Jennifer, you, uh, you're really uh, kind of milking it there, huh? So uh, she just says that, hey, I'm a woman. This is how the world should work, you know? Blah, blah, blah. Jennifer, who gives a crap? Jennifer, I'm going to say this once so you could understand, but commit suicide. Hey, uh, this is how the world should work. I'm a woman. We were filming the scene for a movie, and it contained violence. <laughs> Who gives a crap, okay? So, uh, she's not getting anywhere with this. She's just talking how, how the world works. Like, no one cares. Society is just going downhill with this because of you just talking about dumb crap all day. It's not really going anywhere because all you're doing is talking about a movie scene that you did. And you talking about how you're a woman and how the world should work. Stop. If you're a fan of Jennifer Lawrence, I want you to understand this real quick, okay? She is just using you because of fame. She's using you because you are her revenue. I live in a black neighborhood. If you're a Jennifer Lawrence fan, and if you get offended because of this video, you're not going to get offended. Trust me, pal. You're not going to get offended. Because everything she's saying is offensive. Pretty much. Because she's 
using it like it's serious. Yes, this is true, okay? Everything that Jennifer Lawrence says is offensive. Why? Because her saying, Oh, I'm a woman, hoo-ha, the whole world works, or things like that, then she uses it in a serious tone. But if she would have just made it into a joke, then sure, you could have just went off your day. But no. For some reason, you can't even joke about politics. I wonder why. Hey, not only that I'm in shitty movies and I have a lot of money and fans, I'm just going to take this to a whole different level. Hmm. Wow, Jennifer. Wow, you are you are the smartest tool in the shed, aren't you? Brian, look, you're sexist, man. You're so sexist. Ah. Again. How? How am I sexist? I have a problem spitting when I talk. Maybe it's just because uh, my lips are always wet. Coke Bear, what do you think? Hmm? What do you think, pal? My life is pain and suffering. You let me live in this world. Jennifer Lawrence is a stupid fuck and does not deserve any fame. She needs to just leave. She how every makes me feel stupid. Yeah. I agree with you. I found another interview on YouTube when I was uh, scrolling down and uh, I watched throughout that entire interview and what I stumbled across was pretty cringy. It's so cringy that you just might want to just uh, pull out your headphones or just just mute the audio because it's just bad or turn off your computer whatever whatever's good for you. Get the bleach ready! <laughs> Human activity that climate change is due to human activity and we continue to ignore it and the only voice that we really have is through voting um, so and, you have voted at a, and we voted country. and it was really startling um, you know you're watching these hurricanes now and it's really it's hard especially while promoting this movie not to not to feel mother nature's rage Whoa, Jennifer, whoa! Yeah! Just, wow. Applause to the smartest person in America. So, you're saying that, uh, Mother Nature is destroying us because how we voted? Hmm. Let's think about that for one second. So, you're saying that, uh, how we voted. How we voted for Trump. Jennifer. You are dumb. Us voting had nothing to do with the stupid hurricanes and tsunamis, okay? Now you're taking this like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm uh, so not finding an excuse to be on TV, when at the same time you are. Were you just walking around your house and just repeating to yourself saying, hmm, how can I get on TV and just protest against this loser known as our president. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'm going to say that Mother Nature is killing us because how we voted. Ah. Jennifer, do you often think about committing suicide? Uh, uh. So yeah, Jennifer is just saying this stuff to obviously just be on TV. It would make too much sense if she said society because if she had said society, she would have gotten away by making a really good point and walking away with a big pile of money in her in her arms and walking away in the distance. That would have been just a good ending. But no, you had to say Mother Nature. Mother Nature is Mother Nature, okay? It has nothing to do with politics or us voting. Yeah, just get comfortable. <sighs> Jennifer, we all know that you're doing this for revenue. We all already know. We don't care. And you don't care about your fans. I, uh, I do have a couple closing lines for this hideous woman. Because she's just so foul with her own mind. That her brain is like two inches tall. And like an inch wide. Uh, you have the attention span for like 30 seconds. Because you'll talk about politics and just say sh just dumb crap like, Oh, I'm a woman. world should work like this. Oh... Our politics is destroying Mother Nature. Jennifer, quit. You need to just stop. You need to disappear away from your fame, okay? Kind of like uh, Larry the Cable Guy, but just please vanish and never be heard of again.
Should I do it? That's going to do it for this video, everybody. If you all enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, just get comfortable. Poetic, but also scientific connection to how countries and nations treat their women can almost directly reflect how they treat the environment. And I'm representing Earth, and it was really startling. Um, you know, you're watching these hurricanes now, and it's really it's hard, especially while promoting this movie, not to not to feel Mother Nature's rage. Yeah! Why such celebrity? Talk about this nasty politics.